Hey guys, this is Sinful from the general discussion.com and today I'm going to be showing you how to make your own API in VB.net. And this comes very useful to not so that you don't make your form command or process so much code at once because um, that could make it get an error, an unhandled exception, or unresponsive. Um, before I start this, I would like to say. TGD, uh, the general discussions, instant messenger is going to be temporarily down for as of right now as we are having server and implement problems. So we are going to get right to that as soon as we can. Um, I'm going to be working on a bunch of bunch of fixes. Um, I'm going to be fixing the bug fix and try and get that back up so everyone can use it before we fix the implement problem. So without further ado um, we're just going to get ahead and start this tutorial so first you're going to want to get ahead and new project and you're going to hit ok and then you're just going to wait for it to build um, as you can see it's just creating projects speed touch using your own API um, my youtube is youtube.com slash speed touch please comment rate and subscribe on this video um, I hope you guys do like my video um, um, if you guys would like any videos put up just feel free to request it and um, I will try my best on put getting a, a tutorial or some kind of gaming clip that you guys enjoy up there um, my goal here is to make you guys happy all my subscribers my viewers everyone happy so if you would like if you wanna if you wanna see a tutorial on anything you don't see it's on YouTube uh, just feel free so you just go ahead and either message me or talk to me in the general discussion com and also please join the dis the general discussion com and then as you refer please just um, refer me sinful um, as this is my video and yeah uh, it's a great website it's it's ran by awesome staff uh, it's got awesome great active members alright so we're gonna be starting this tutorial now and um, for the first part of this you can go ahead and just put whatever you want for the properties like I'm just gonna say speed touch for the name of it and I'm just gonna center it. it's all I'm gonna do for right now and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna I'm gonna show you a quick API and a function a function really quick so we're just gonna need we only need really one button so I'm just going to name this button to uh, test and then what we're going to do is we're going to add a new class by clicking up here and hit the down arrow and add class and it does not matter what the name of this class is you can just leave it to class1.vb and so first what you're going to do is you're going to put function and we're going to say message oops message then we're going to click down it's going to give you a warning don't worry about the warning it's it's nothing and then what we're going to do is we're going to type in MSG box just for a test. We're going to type in MSG box join. Whoops, sorry guys. The general discussion.com. Now, now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our form one and we're going to double click it. And right here below it says public class form one. We're going to put in dim api as new api oops sorry guys um not wait dim api as new class um uh, one i believe yep that would be it so now what we're going to do is we're going to type in api dot message oh whoops my bad guys I'm sorry uh, you're not going to type in the form load you're going to type in under the button and so we're going to type in API dot message and now what we're going to do is we can just go ahead and debug that and this is um, this is pretty much this tutorial is about like a simple function along with your own API and what this does is when you click it then it processes the code instead of when you run your form instead of running your form well, and then processing it all together when you actually put in your commands and like say like by pressing this button as you can see it says this now that just directly took the code and as you can see how fast it was 
I mean, it's I mean, most programs are very ran fast on VB.net, but this was quietly fast as more like if I were to put the code in, I would have just put button one uh, uh, message in button one. If I just put message box uh, dot show or whatever, um, and I put that in there, it would just be a lot slower, and the form would have a more reliability of getting a hundred exception. Ex so like. It's just out of the whole, like in the long run of coding big programs, it just makes it so that it's just a lot faster and more reliable. Well, that concludes my tutorial today. Um, catch us on our next tutorial on functions and our API. We're going to be adding more stuff to it, more commands. So, go ahead and uh, comment, rate, and subscribe. Join thegeneraldiscussion.com and have a great day. Thank you for watching.